Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I grow a lot of succulents and I made a few videos on these succulents before. They are probably some of the most fun plants to grow and also to propagate because they're so easy. Uh, the variety that I would, would recommend uh, growing if you want to propagate and have probably a 100% success rate is these varieties here. These are the ghost plant. I'm gonna find the, um, the actual name and then put it under description so you can uh, see and find the exact one and buy that because if you buy that and try to propagate them you will have 100% success no no joke so all of these plants that I'm growing here started with just a few leaves so today I'm going to show you how to propagate these succulents and get 100% success rate alright so you ready you take a leaf and just throw right there that's it <laughs> you don't believe me right check these out these are the ones that have fallen off of the the branches here and they just they just grow on their own look at that so all of these here they just fell off somehow they're they're really strange type of plants because sometimes when i walk around here and then i accidentally walk into them do you see that and they, they drop that's that's basically it and also sometimes when I move the pot around I'll, I'll knock at them and then they fall off so you have to be very careful with these because sometimes they look really nice and full and pretty and then you you, you knock at them and then look at this and <laughs> this is what you get and so once they've fallen off just leave them there and then they'll sprout uh, even in the heat in the cold in the uh, you know what in the rain whatever actually they, they don't prefer too much rain so they do like the dried spots and look at these you see those are the succulents that have fallen off and just propagated themselves everywhere see this I didn't even do anything to these there's no soil no nothing and uh, I'm going to show you today that way you will believe me that this actually works so today we're going to propagate a bunch of succulents okay here are the succulents I propagated last season and I left it here in the snow in the frost in the freeze we had the craziest freeze of, of uh, the century <laughs> at this year and uh, it, it made it through the snow covered it uh, it, it had ice on top of it and, and literally everything was covered and uh, it nothing's happened to it so uh, you see how pretty they are and this is just in a little container now there's so many of them that it, they got really heavy but it's basically a, a to-go box container so today we are going to use the exact method and I'm gonna walk you through it and show you exactly what to do so let's go ahead and prepare our soil okay guys so what we're going to do first is put some soil in this container uh, I don't need to put holes in here because we don't need to put a lot of water just as soon as uh, we put soil in here wet wet this uh, soil a little bit and then we're gonna put the succulents on top now I'm using seed starting mix um, that I made uh, I'm telling you, these are not uh, picky. You can even use uh, just sand only, and it, and it would st probably still work. But any type of soil doesn't matter. So don't don't be going crazy and buy those ex expensive soil. You don't you don't need to. Okay, so that is my soil. So let's go ahead and pull some leaves off, and uh, we'll put it on top. Okay, here we are. So. As always, if you use the leaves that have already have roots on them, they do uh, pick up faster, but we're not gonna cheat, we're just gonna grow these here. I'm gonna take some of the leaves off of uh, these, uh, see how they snap off really easily? So we're gonna put them like that. So you, you want the, the nice full leaves. Don't don't get the the you know shriveled up one. So these nice leaves here have water in them. And so uh, they will stay alive a lot longer. So you don't you don't have to pick these huge leaves. You can just get a good size one. I usually like the 
them to be uniform, like around this size. That way, when you put them in a tray, they, they kind of look good. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish this up. Okay, so I have all of this the leaves picked off, and I placed them uniformly in this container. And then along with that, I'm going to pick a few more leaves. I'm going to put it outside just like that so that you can see even without the soil, they will propagate themselves. Uh, so now we just need to give it a little bit of water, not too much. Do not put a ton of water that would, uh, you know, sort of like uh, have these things sitting in standing water. You don't want that. Just a little bit of water to moisten up the soil and that's all you need. And there we have it. So we're going to let them sit here. This is under my patio. It gets a, a few hours of good morning sun. And then in the afternoon, they get a little bit of sun like this. And that should be it. So uh, we'll check back soon. Okay, it has been exactly three weeks now. And the leaves all started to sprout some little plant at the very end. You can see there. And you see all the little pink little tiny plant at the end of the leaf those are going to be the plant that will come out and grow into full plants so i really didn't do much to uh the cuttings or the leaves or whatever i just left it there i think i sprayed a little bit of water every once in a while when i was watering my plant but as for these they're just sitting there and um you see a little bit soft now because that's that's usually how it is they they get soft over time it's been three weeks and we since we plucked it off so they do um, tend to get that way and once the plants get bigger the leaves will continue to get softer so this is where the plant the baby plant are getting all the resources from the water is from the inside of the leaves so as the plant get bigger the leaf will start to shrivel and then you will also notice more roots coming out very soon. So uh, there's really not much you have to do. Just throw it onto a concrete, throw it onto um, your pot, throw it into your soil. doesn't matter. It's just so easy to do. They will just sprout on their own and propagate themselves. So uh, roots will come soon. So we'll check back and I will let you see that. Okay, we are on week number four, exactly one month since we started the propagation process and guys look at these the plants are starting to grow bigger and you see the roots are starting to develop so really there is no need for soil look at my the leaves that are outside of the soil and the same thing is happening you see there is no soil needed that is how easy it is to propagate these ghost uh, succulents and uh, once the the roots developed all you have to do is put it into a container uh, with some soil so that the roots can dig in and begin to grow its own uh, its own uh, succulent plant so here I have done some already this is a different variety and here is the same variety over there so I just placed it in soil make sure that the soil is nice and soft so that the roots can dig in easily and then within another month or so, you will have a larger succulent plant. So the question people always ask is, once the plants start to, to grow bigger, what should you do with the, the leaf itself? Really, you don't have to do anything. The leaves is actually uh, energy that is feeding the plant and eventually it will wither and run out of resources and it will die and it will decompose on its own. You can choose to pull the plant out if you want to, but there's no need to. You just leave it like that, and then you can even put soil on top of it and cover it up so that all you see is uh, this plant. And then from there on, the plant will grow and develop and uh, will grow really big. And then you can get more leaves and do the same thing over again. So uh, the success of these propagation is guaranteed 100%. But you have to find the exact variety because then you know if you if you do this with other varieties it may not be a hundred percent so uh, uh, you know don't misquote me I'm just saying this exact variety 100% success you would never fail so let me show you the uh, the full-grown plants so you can see exactly what it looks like 
and it was once like this. Here we are. This is the uh, tray that I propagated the same way in the beginning. And see, here's a tray somewhere in here. See, that's just a, a, a to-go container. You see that? Just a tray. And then now there's just so much uh, succulents in here that it's, it, it weighs a lot. <laughs> so uh, again, very simple. You just take the leaf like that, throw it there. A month later, you will get the little plants. That is as easy as it can get, guys. So try this out. Uh, I will put the name of this exact variety so you can go and get yourself some and you would not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.